Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Byrne. It's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And ah, I'm just checking in on you. Just checking in on you. Checking in on you. I need your help, man. I need your help. Guess what I have? I have the iPhone 7. Ooh, ooh. Oh, what are you going to Comic-Con, Bill? What do you, what do you got, what do you got all the, the latest technology for? I'll tell you why. I f- was fucking... Making some goddamn fucking potatoes. And I had my fucking iPhone to the side on the sink and water splashed around and it got in it. Got in it somehow and then the thing just went, oh, and just fucking shut off. Right as I realized it, I thought I, you know, the fucking countertops, I didn't see it. I fucking set it down this little, it was in a rush, fucking, you know, peeling potatoes like a fucking goddamn mick. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. And I looked over. I washed a couple dishes, and I, I always lose sight of where my phone is. It was near the sink, and there was water from, you know, there was pots and pans and stuff sprays, and it was just sitting in a fucking puddle. And uh, and my wife was just like, shut it off. Throw it in a bag of rice. You know, it was like mash without a happy ending, and the thing just fucking died. And uh, I didn't save any of my contacts. You know, I, I didn't have, I, have, I had zero phone numbers. I lost all my photos and all my video for my European run. My trip down to Amalfi, I lost fucking everything. All kinds of shit. I lost a picture of my fucking Ludwig drum kit when I played at the Roxy. You know, I just, the shit that I lost, I, I didn't even want to fucking think about it. And, uh, but you know what? Most of it I forget anyways. It's like all that clutter that you got in your fucking house, all the magazines you're saving. You're never going to go back to them. You know, if somebody actually snuck in your house and took half of it, you know, other than the space, you wouldn't miss it, right? So this is my thing. I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well, but why don't you just put it on the iCloud? And it's because, well, you know, uh, I don't even know if I said this because I had to start this fucking thing twice. Yeah, I, I don't want somebody to fucking... I, I, just, I just don't want somebody else having my shit. I mean, is, is that so... What Can you fucking imagine, like, back in the day, if somebody... Older people, you remember when you had your little black book, all your fucking phone numbers, remember all your family photos, your slides? Can you imagine if some corporation, yeah, we'll hold on to these. You'd be like, fuck you will, you weirdo. What are you doing with them? So, and the reason why I never backed them up to my computer is because I could never figure out how to do it. I mean, I, I Googled it and all that shit. It says go, go in the iPhone section of your iTunes, click on the info fucking tab, I can't, I I have no fucking idea where it is. I've looked up on all these things. There's no video of it. There's all this shit. Hey, how to go iPhone to iPhone, iPhone to add, iPad, ass to fucking mouth. They got everything except how for me to put my fucking phone numbers in the contact book, which I could do a few phones ago. I know you guys think I'm a fucking moron. I know you think I can't read. I know you think I suck at reading out loud. And you know what? You're right. But. I'm not at the age where I used to know how to do shit. Now I don't. Okay, give me a little bit of credit. I'm only 48 years old. I'm not 78, 88. That's when that shit creeps on. Okay, I knew how to do this shit. It used to be fucking easy. You used to do it automatically. You just fucking plug it in. And then all your fucking numbers were on your computer. Now, now they've, they've made it really fucking difficult. And the amount of times I just thought, just give in, give in, give in, man. Put it on the cloud. Let the ghost of Steve Jobs handle it. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. There's a reason why God took him so early. He needed to fucking slap him around first. Okay? He needed to yank that fucking turtleneck right up over his head. Jesus Christ, Bill. The man is dead. He had children. I don't give a fuck. I can't figure this out. Okay? So people have to get hurt. Okay? Oh, I felt good. So if anybody knows where the fucking goddamn fucking info tab is, in the iPhone section of fucking iTunes. It can explain to me how, how the fuck I can save my own phone numbers. I actually went into Barnes and Nobles. It's a bookstore, everybody, for anybody under the age of 40. They used to sell books. They still do. And they're, oh my God, what a collection of fucking human beings that are in that place. The last of the last. The last of the book readers, right? Like the last of the blacksmiths. The last of the people with the crank start fucking cars. You know? Last of the Mohicans, right? Last person to take a shit in CBGBs before they turned it into a John fucking Varvados. All right? I gave you so many examples, I can't remember what the fuck I was talking about. But all I know is uh, I, I need your help, okay? 
<laughs> I, oh, I don't know. I went to the fucking Barnes and Nobles. Or is it Barnes and Noble? I don't even know. And once I see Barnes, I'm like, yeah, that's it. What is it? Benny Barnes? The guy's a fucking drug dealer. He's either in jail or he's hiding. Uh, oh, that's, that's Nikki Barnes. I don't fucking know. Benny Barnes. Who the fuck was Benny Barnes? Was that one of the cats on Top Cat? That wasn't John Leguizamo. It was Benny Blanco. Benny Blanco from the Bronx. Who the fuck was Benny Barnes? He was somebody. That's too cool a name to not have been somebody. That is somebody. Anyways, we'll get back to that one. I'll look that one up later if I, if I still know how to fucking turn my computer on. God knows on the new operating system. Maybe that changed. Um, so I walk into this fucking bookstore. And I walk up to this, this woman, you know, who's just like one of these people who, who probably she's, she's the one who should be running the country. All right. But she's, you know, cause you know, but she's not going to do it because she's a good person because she probably doesn't like telling people what to do. She probably doesn't feel qualified. All right. Unlike those two complete fucking psychos that, I mean, can you imagine if the two of them had a kid, if Trump fucked Hillary, what would come out of that fucking pre-presidential snatch? I can't even fucking imagine the lack of feeling. Well, I, it would have black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it had. And you'd look over and it would be sitting on the swing just staring at you and you would be fucking horrified. Um, so much of this has to do with the fact that I can't upload my contacts. All right. So I don't take it too, too personally. Um, but um, anyways, by the way, uh, you know what? I, I, I barely noticed because I'm just like every other fucking mouth breathing moron just watching the football season. Did you notice how there's like no pink in the NFL? Like they toned it down over the last three years. They kind of fucking tapered off. Isn't that amazing? And you know why that is, right? Because the NFL raised so much money for cancer awareness. They put such a dent in the disease that they don't even they don't have to do it anymore. That's what happened. That's, that has to be what happened, because if that's not what happened, then I guess the NFL doesn't care about finding a cure for cancer anymore. It's, th- th- there's no fucking way that's true. It's kind of weird how that happened. Kind of weird how it fucking went all the way the fuck up, and then it just kind of tapered the fuck off, and people are still getting cancer left and right. That's kind of weird. I thought that that was like, yeah, I thought they were all about the families. Supporting the troops. Charging them for those pictures, right? Supporting the fucking troops and all that. Those fucking cunts. They got in bed with that pink lady. They all got their yachts. People are starting to figure out like, hey, where the fuck is all this money going? You know where it's going. It's going down to the pink twat fucking strip club. And all the owners go down and they fucking bang away while their wives are fucking, I don't know, driving around in their pink fucking caddies. They stepped away. The NFL stepped away. Mm -hmm. They just backed up. They just slowly fucking backed out of the room. You know, now they just got a little pink fucking thing on the, on the, this is all my conspiracy theory. They just have a little pink thing on the field. You know, let's say it's uh, maybe 30 paces around next year. It'll be 15. It's just going to gradually disappear. And then maybe one guy in, in October in the NFL will get pink eye and that'll be the last fucking thing. And they'll just, they'll just, they'll just fucking step away. They made their money. They're going to let that lady take the heat. You know what I mean? They're going to play babe in the fucking woods. Oh, we didn't know. We thought it was on the fucking boat, but you know what you were doing. You took all that fucking pink money, you cunts. Um, God, I'd be in such a great mood if I could just fucking, you know, what's great is, is today the amount of, the amount of fucking phone numbers. I got to tell you, having not used the iCloud and and the only fucking number that I knew other than mine was, was my wife's. That's it. I knew nobody else's, you know? trying to think if there's even like a commercial on tv what is that one hate 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 that fucking phone number the seven sevens of carmel i know that one um it's a car service in new york i believe i don't know if they're still around i think they are those are like the only ones that i fucking knew um but i mean i got like i got like a fucking i swear to god i feel like i got a hundred phone phone numbers back already Let's go into the old fucking iPhone 7, which for some reason you got to buy this umbilical cord in order to, this little mini umbilical cord that's 10 bucks, 10 bucks for this little fucking thing that you know you're going to lose. If you're like me, I mean, I, I've probably bought 15 fucking charges for every phone that I have. I always lose them. I always leave them. And, and those things are actually, 
you know, they're long enough. They're like an emaciated garter snake. I mean, I sh- with a big fucking head. You know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't be losing those. Forget about this little thing. I mean, I don't think it's longer than an inch. So the problem is, is that now with the new ones, I guess when you charge them, you can't listen to your music, which of course is just a major problem for everybody, including me. Forget about all these political prisoners around the world. Forget about the children that sew together your flashy fucking clothes. Let's talk about how us in the first world can now not plug our phones and charge them while listening to our music. Okay? I know it's a first world problem, but of course it is. I live in a first world. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. Let me see how many fucking contexts I have already. I put that guy's name in wrong. Got to fucking fix that one. I've just been obsessed all fucking day long. All day long, just just everybody who... I had, I had to take every call. Like, once you lose all your contacts, you don't know who the fuck's calling you. It's like, Jesus, I, I got to call this guy. What if, what, if, what, if this is, is, what if this is the guy calling from the thing? What if something amazing is going to happen, you know? And it's just the same old bullshit fucking phone calls. Let's see here. All right, done. All right, then you hit this. So the new thing about this one is it's fucking waterproof, which is great. Oh, by the way, if you want to get a, there's a Belkin Lightning 3.5 meter adapter, B-E-L-K-I-N. They're 15 bucks. And if you get one of those, you can charge it and listen to your music at the same time. So they have filled the void, um, the proverbial void created. Um, Was it done on purpose when we return? All right, so let's see what I got here. How many fucking phone numbers do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to count these fuckers and let you know. All right, I'm back. Quick count. 113 phone phone numbers. Recovered. Recovered in fucking, in in, in 24 hours. That ain't bad. I'll get another 100 tomorrow. You know? But there are some that I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm never going to get that guy's number. You know what I mean? You got to, you know, when you lose all your numbers, there's like, rather than just trying to get to everybody, you got to have hubs. You got to be like, all right, this guy, he, he can give me five. Okay. And that one, one of those five will lead to another five. And the thing is you can only hit each person up for about five numbers. Every once in a while you find a fucking sweetheart, which I did. And she'll give you a zillion of them. My wife gave me a zillion, uh, you know, the woman that I put the Patrice O'Neill benefit together with, she gave me a bunch. And um, I'll just kind of keep going and going and going and going as uh, as we get this thing together. But um, I lost all the photos. And uh, you know what? I think, uh, I think I'm all right with it. Whatever. You know what? I got them up here, man. Got them up here. The greatest hard drive ever, man. Your brain. Um, <laughs> I keep threatening. I keep threatening to get a flip phone again, but I can't because everybody is just, you know, when you run your own fucking business, even if that is shit jokes and everything, and people are sending you emails and you have to sign shit and scan shit, it's, at some point you got to have one of these. And I also love having all this fucking music on it. I really do. Oh, that's another thing too. When I plug my new fucking iPhone in, I lost like half my music. How does that happen? I don't know. Is it, in, is it in the cloud? Is it on the stars? Where the fuck did all my music go? I had every fucking ACDC album. Now I have like four. Where the fuck did they go? Oh, I know. I'll call somebody up at iTunes, and, and I'm sure I'll get them on the phone shortly, and they'll, they'll help me out with it. Fucking hostile cunt. You can't get to anybody. You know what? This, is one of, this was, must be what it really fucking feels like as you grow older is you just feel the world cares less and less about you. You're just like this old horse ready for the glue factory. And then we can't make any money off this guy. This guy can't carry anything. Man, fuck him. And you're just sitting there. Well, why can't I get anybody on the phone? You know, like, you know, what I'm really feeling bad for right now is Hugh Hefner. You know, Hugh Hefner was and always will be the fucking man. All right. And he recently, he had, you know, he had the magazine and, and because of new technologies, nobody's buying magazines anymore. They tried to revamp. They tried to keep up. Blah, 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 blah. Online porn, all this fucking shit. They just couldn't keep up. And uh, he ended up having, I think having a, I don't know what he had to fucking do. All I know is he put his house up for sale. And part of the sales price was, you know, that he was going to live in the house until he dies. And then you get it and you can do whatever the fuck you want. And I, oh man, what a fucking, this bit, I got to tell you something, man. I said this to, to, to uh, a, near to, I'm going to forget how I said it. I was just talking about Los Angeles. Los Angeles 
is an extraordinary lonely place to die in. <laughs> Unless, but he does have kids, so I think he'll be all right. Dude, if you fucking just, if you just, if you go out here and you make some money and you get some fucking whores and you get some blow and you take the fucking ride, you know, what goes up comes back down. And when you come fucking back down and you got no cartilage left in your nose, right? And your fucking hair piece is fucking flopping around. I mean, that, and then, then you're just sitting there and whatever's left of your house that used to be the shit, now you're sharing it with somebody else, right? And you're sitting there slowly dying, knowing I'm dying and then knowing in the background, hearing the cars going by, right? And just knowing it's going to keep going without you. They're going to keep making movies. They're going to keep, there's going to be beautiful women and they're not going to fuck you and it's, it's over. It's over for you. I hope you had a good fucking time, buddy. All right? <laughs> I know. It's fucking morbid as shit, but you know, I can't get my, I can't get my phone numbers. it will be fucking hilarious is if you went country to country, what's your biggest fucking problem? And, uh, you know, or like neighborhood to neighborhood, you know what I mean? All this Black Lives Matter shit and I'm fucking sitting here, I can't get my fucking phone numbers to sit with my contacts. <laughs> it's people with diseases, there's war-torn countries. And I am throwing literally at a 48-year-old man having a fucking shit fit because I can't get all these fucking people's. And what's funny is, is pretty much at this point, I have everybody's phone numbers. I got all my friends. I got all my family, pretty much. I got all of that. And I got my business context. And uh, I don't know. You know what's the worst thing about losing all your numbers is you lose all those do not answer ones. You know, fucking psycho. Don't pick up, you know, all of those ones. Jesus Christ. And I, I have to pick up. I, I'm, I'm one of those, I got to pick up. I'm like, oh, what if, what if this is, uh, what if this is Steven Spielberg and he's doing a reboot of E.T. and he, he wants me, he wants me to play E.T. He wants me to fucking crouch down and I'd fucking do it too. I'd do it. I don't give a shit. You know? You want to stick me in a fucking movie? Okay, go, whatever the fuck you need me to do there, Stevie. You know? <laughs> you want me to sling the mud around as I'm looking at a volcano? Is this some flying saucer playing some fucking music? I will do that in a cell. Oh, that's the lead. I never understood that movie, Close Encounters. I wanted to see it so bad when I was a kid. When I finally saw it, I was just like, that's it? That was the fucking movie? That, that really looked hastily put together. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, don't, I don't fuck. Maybe I got to watch it again. Maybe I'm just a football watching fucking moron. But when I watch that movie and Richard Dreyfus is just sitting there, like listening to this, whatever, the, like it was like a Simon Says, but it was a flying saucer going like beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, beep. And he's going like, wait a minute, man, wait a minute. And he's throwing like fucking mud at this, this volcano. And somehow he gets it. He gets what the fuck's going on. And, uh, I don't even remember the end of the movie. I, you know what? I don't remember most. Where the fuck do I get off criticizing a movie? Having never made one, right? Like that. Like being the director and the creative force. I never fucking did that shit. And I can't even remember how it ends. That's not going to stop me from criticizing it. I didn't like it. Two freckled thumbs down. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. There's a lot of fucking movies that have done really well that I just don't understand. You know, there's the classics like Chariots of Fire. I don't know who the fuck that was for, but when I sit down and I saw that movie, I could literally smell the house of the person that liked that movie because I had a paper route and I knew what those kinds of people smelled like. You know what I mean? They just, the heat was going to be on too high and it was going to have that musty smell of someone beginning to die. You know, you know that, oh, there is an old person odor. And it's so you ever meet you ever meet somebody who's like almost your age and they already have it and you're just looking at them like do, do they realize they're already dying? It's I, I don't it's the smell of decay. You know? How does that happen? I mean, Jesus Christ, that's like a fucking car if you don't start it up every day. Is that I don't know, is that what happens? I don't fucking know, but you know, I'm I'm yeah, I'm not the brightest guy. I mean, I can't even upload my contacts onto my fucking computer. But I know after this podcast, I will be able to, because I've reached out to you, the common man, the person, the common lady on Twitter. And you know what I love about you guys? I know, you know, 
You're going to teach me how to do it, but you're going to, you're going to, hey, you stupid, freckled fuck, but blah, blah, blah. You're going to give me all, and I don't give a shit. I'm going to fucking, I will glide through those insults to get to this information. I've already wasted a fucking hour of my life trying to figure out how to do this to avoid being in this exact same fucking situation. Um, I was actually, when I was at the, uh, the fucking iCloud store there, whatever, iTunes store, the Apple store, right? I fucking go in there. You know, let's see if one of our geniuses, they literally say it with a straight face. One of these geniuses can figure out, but who's kidding who? I can't figure out how to do it. So in my world, I guess they are a genius. So this guy was cool as shit. He goes, did you store anything on the iCloud? And I go, well, not on purpose. I might have clicked something by accident. And we just were just sitting there. He goes, well, click on this. Wait a few seconds. He's like, "Uh, no, no, not in there. Well, maybe your photos, maybe save a few photos, click on that. And I'm like, nothing. He goes, no, no, wait a second, wait a second. Just wait a second, see if something comes up. Yep, yeah, nothing there. And he goes, how come you don't use the iCloud? And I goes, ah, it's, I go, it's fucking creepy to me. And he goes, well, you know, it's a really safe, totally secure system. I go, yeah, until it isn't. He goes, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank everybody who tries to help out me, to help out me, to help me out with this fucking thing. Um, if you're listening to this and uh, you have my phone number, text me. Send me a fucking text, because chances, chances are I don't have your fucking number in my fucking iPhone 7. I'm calling it right now. That little uh, umbilical cord that hangs off that thing, I'm going to have to buy at least nine of those before I buy the next one. This is the first time I've gone from, like, one number to the very next number. Like, I kept the iPhone 4S until I got the 6. Um... I had the three and then the iPhone four came out and then I, I get the every other one. I never had the five. I got the six and I was like, fuck the seven, you know, especially when people are complaining about something new, right? Like this one is so stupid to buy. I would not buy this phone because what's going to happen is they're going to figure out this little appendage fucking thing. They're going to figure it out. And you know what? They already have it figured out. They have the next nine complaints already figured out, and they don't give a fuck. They just put it out like this so everybody can be like, well, it's 99% great, but what about this, right? So, um, you know, I wouldn't buy this one. I would wait for the 7S or possibly the 8. That's what I planned on doing until I uh, was making them mashed potatoes on. <laughs> <laughs> 